Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In this video, just a couple friendly steps on how to set up your Netgear Doxis modem. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, in front of us, this is the Netgear CM700 high-speed cable modem. This is the Doxis 3.0, very similar to the 3.1 and additional Netgear products. This is the 32 by 8 channel bonding. Super fast, super awesome, and I've got it connected and communicating with the Google Wi-Fi Nest. Those two together work perfectly. I've never been more happy with my internet. However, what I want to talk about is the setup process. Easy setup. Step one, connect your high-speed cable modem to a computer. Okay, we're not going to do that. Step two, power on the cable modem. Yes, we're gonna plug the modem in and power it up. Step three, follow instructions from installation guide. And I did that, but it led me into a dead end. And when I first read the easy setup, step one, connect your high-speed cable modem to a computer. When's the last time we really had to do that with the streaming technology out in today's world? It's been a long time, I can't remember. So it caught me off guard. So what I did was moved on to step two and plugged it in, powered it up, and then I skipped step three and I went right to step four. Contact your cable internet service provider to confirm that your device is active. And in our case, we have Xfinity. I gave them a call, told them what modem I purchased, and on the bottom portion here has your serial number and a few other numbers that they want to plug into their system on their end. And within two to three minutes after giving them those numbers, your modem is activated and your internet is up and running. So don't fall victim to step one. Again, it's going to lead you into a roadblock or dead end. You're going to get an error and just do step two, bypass step three, go to step four. Basically, plug it in, call your internet provider, and say, hey, this is what I've got, here's my numbers, and then they activate it. That's it. Now I wanna show you the speeds of this modem and Google Wi-Fi together. All right, YouTubers, in front of us is a normal standard phone, nothing fancy. Got our YouTube channel pulled up, and what I wanna do is cast to the TV, and it immediately casts, as you can see, and what I want to do is just, you know, go through a couple videos, doesn't matter what you're watching, and we'll go ahead and press play, and as you can see, it goes right away. So again, internet speeds are instantaneous with the click with this modem and Google Wi-Fi. Next thing I want to show you is go to fast.com. This is a Netflix system and it is going to show you your internet speed. Check this out. At my previous house, I was only getting about 50 to 60 Mbps. And tested a couple times. Depending on how many devices you actually have connected to your Wi-Fi will depend on your speeds. However, this is far more than what I was getting at my previous property using a different internet provider. So I am very happy and I am very pleased with the speeds. So again, this all depends on how many devices are connected to it. Right now our phone's connected to it, our TV's connected to it. We've got an additional laptop and computer connected to it at the moment. I bet if I turned everything off, it would be well in the 130s, 140s. As you can see, it gets, you know, about 100, as you can see. Maybe that iPad upstairs just turned off. Who knows? So that's it, YouTubers. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully this video helps. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. That will be awesome.